what's going on guys we're back we're back so um so the next step is to set up your printer to your laptop before you can print dtf right so a couple of things you got to do before you can actually print um dtf you have to make sure that your printer is connected to your laptop or your desktop by way of you have to install the drivers for your printer in order for your laptop to see it right so windows 10 uh windows 10 and 11 i believe um it actually have the driver for this printer so i just ins use my usb port on my printer connected to my usb port on my computer my laptop over here and it saw my printer and install the drivers automatic if you if that's not happening for you then you have to go to epson.com um, i think is your slash support you go down in there you look look up your your printer model which is going to be xp 50,000 and you download the drivers for your printer once you install it then you'll be able to see it okay another thing that you're going to need is the rip software so i'm using aqua rip 10 right now and um it works fine for me um so and you want to do all this in order for your printer to work so now we're going to go ahead and install the cartridges that we just filled so i'm going to um install one by one so this is the magenta I was going on wrong with it. Um, this is the the yellow. This is the red. So the red and the gray. I can I use um, my white ink is going into the. I should have said that before. The red and the gray. You want to put your white ink in the red and the gray. So this is the red. This one is black. This is gray, which is white. You just gotta snap them in. And this one is the cayenne. Cayenne or blue, whatever. Works for you. <laughs> Damn, I'm rhyming. Yeah, so and that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna run and do a test page. Let me bring it a little closer. So uh, I'm going to power it on. And let it do its thing. So it's booting up. And as I said, my printer is already installed. I saw it from the time I powered it on earlier. It's my laptop saw the printer so it up and running so i'm ready to so it asked me to update the firmware i don't want to update no firmware i just want it like normal so it's gonna go through whatever it needs to go through so this process here normally take like five minutes or so so what i'm going to do now i'm going to send a test page to it it already did what it needs need to be done i'm going to do um f11 to do a test test page first let me go back so i'm in acrip right now i'm hit no so in acrip let me unplug this bring it real close See how close I can get you guys. In Acro Rip now, you you're gonna have to select your printer, which is gonna be the XP fifteen thousand, 
and the port that the printer captures when it was in when it was being installed. So a capture USB um, zero two, which is which is my Epson. It's going to tell you also which is my 15,000 printer. So I hope you guys can see this. Um, and so you select that printer. And then you go ahead with your settings, your regular settings for what you're going to use for your printing. Right? So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to send a test page to make sure my ink and everything is looking as it should. Which is for the short shortcut for that is F11. I made F11. It's going to ask you check the paper to check your nozzle is die for nozzle check to make sure that you have all your colors coming through i'm gonna hit enter for yes and i'm taking to the printer so the printer does its thing it's gonna send i have a page inside of there already so let's see what happens Let's see if we did what we're supposed to do. Okay, so it's not seeing the paper, it's in the out of, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to push this up, see what happened. We actually had one in there, but it does not see it. Let me see. Again, this is what you gotta deal with, but this is not no big deal, really. Okay. See if it's gonna pick it out. I'm gonna take it all the way out. So I'm gonna try that again. I just put like a blue piece of paper in there. Let me see if it's gonna pick it up. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so it did do a print head. I'm seeing the white. Remember, you just um, fill this, so I didn't do a head clean or anything. So I'm seeing my white coming through. I'm seeing, you know, all the colors. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it's not coming through, like, powerful because, again, it's, like, bright and potent because I did not do a head clean, right? So you're going to have to do a head clean. So we're going to do a head clean, and then we're going to... Um, run a test again but other than that i'm seeing all the colors showing up so that's a good um thing so to do a hair clean we do f12 and we hit yes so i'm gonna cut this off and i'm gonna put the same sheet back in once my hair clean is done it's doing a hair clean right now show you guys this is the steps you gotta take in order for this to work correctly. Let me grab my scissors. While you guys watch that printer clean. Says it's cleaning it. I'm gonna wait until it's done. I wanna. I don't wanna interrupt it. So um, once it's done, we're gonna put this paper back in. Yeah. Yeah. This takes some time.
All right, look like it finished cleaning. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put this paper back in. Well, the pet film rather. Um, so I can draw this up. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we'll just do another test. F11, enter. Hopefully it catches a little piece of pet film real quick. Okay, as y'all can see, it, it did print it out better this time, right, on oh, my whites, so I can see the whites and everything coming through, and it might need one more hair cleaning, which is cool, yeah, that's pretty much it, so you do one more hair cleaning, and you should be perfect. Again, on my whites, thick. I can see it from here, and I believe y'all might be y'all should be able to see it also. I'm gonna do one more hair cleaning, and then um, then we should be we should be good. One more hair cleaning. Can't rush the process. Just gotta keep it keep it rocking. Let me do one more thing. Um, yeah, let me know if you all have any more questions. If you have questions or whatever, um, just put it down in the comment, and I'm, I'm going to answer whatever I can. Um, to the best of my ability, I'm going to answer you guys um, to make sure your printer is working as good as mine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just the process, man. It's just time. Another thing too, um, remember that the maintenance is very important. You gotta, you gotta maintain your printer. Have to, you have to get up every day and make sure your printer is clean and is working, so you can get some great prints. Um, yeah, um, it's a daily thing. It's like a baby. You gotta feed it every day, nurture it, and then you'll be all right. If you treat it bad, guess what? It's gonna treat you bad it's like your car. You gotta put good maintenance into it. Otherwise, the car is gonna break down, correct? So, yeah, but so far, I like what I see. So the next step, once this is done, it's gonna be perfect because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's almost finished, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do one more and then I'll show you guys how it fill up this little space. And then we should be good. I'm gonna cut this off, start afresh. Uh, yeah, you don't wanna waste this um, fat film, of course. So you see, I just, because you gotta do this every day. So, hopefully this one goes all the way up on it, you know. I don't want to have to use a new. Oh, I think I have one here. That's why I tested on my other printer. Yeah, I have an have a L18, which is slower than this. So I, I know the speed, the difference. To me, this is it's good enough for me. And I have two of them that's going to be going, so it'll be all right. I think we're almost done with this. I'm going to wait. Yeah, 
Let me see all these colors that's lined up there. Let's go. I think that's it. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm learning this printer too, man. It, it, it acts different from my other printer. And that's one thing. You got to learn your printers, man. You got to learn what it's doing, what it's not doing on a daily. So you know when something is wrong. All right, let's do an F11 again. Keep your fingers crossed for me, people. Let's see what's up. Bring it all back to the printer. Come on down. All right. We looking good. We looking better. So we got all the colors. The white. The, the reds. Remember this one was getting in trouble. Yeah, we good now. So that's pretty much it. So that's it, people. Um, and that's a way to convert your printer. Um, if you need any more information, just holler at me. That's it. Just, just like and comment, people. Help me grow this thing. Bring out content so you guys could to make life easier for everybody. Talk to you guys later. Y'all stay blessed now and keep on printing.